Hi everyone, welcome to Align Cloud 9. I'm Jacqueline Rose and you're watching My Thoughts Exactly. Today I want to talk to you about getting motivation, another way that I get myself up to do things. So how to get yourself moving. So a great technique that I have learned is by developing your brain to be rewarded differently. So right now, you if you're lacking motivation, you might find that your brain is being rewarded by doing nothing or doing less or doing something like TV or scrolling your phone or something simple like that. You can rewire your brain. It's called, uh, if you look up things about the mind, uh, your brain is plastic, they call it. It has plasticity where it changes the, or it has the ability to change the way it's wired. So if you're developing these habits, then you have these certain um, neurons communicating with each other, rewarding yourself for being lazy and not getting any motivation to do things. And if you try and earn ways to reward yourself for doing the right things. Like, I did the dishes. Oh, my kitchen looks so much cleaner with everything put away, how nice. You release good endorphins in your brain for doing that because your house looks nice, it's a reward. Therefore, you feel good releasing the endorphins and then it happens again, or you want to do it again, you're more likely to want to do it again than you were before when you were like thinking of it in a different way like um oh my gosh look at all those dishes i have to do that's a lot of dishes what a mess that's gonna take a while you know if you start talking like that the dishes seem discouraging if you think of it like this like oh i have to clean the kitchen i should clean the kitchen uh it looks so nice once the dishes are put away and it's cleaned and the counter's wiped down and it looks good. So, and that's another thing. I I encourage you to believe that cleaning the sink and the countertops and the stove are part of doing the dishes. It doesn't take much effort to do that and it's definitely worth the effort because it's way cleaner and way better looking if you do that. So, I believe that part of doing the dishes is cleaning the sink. Plus, do you really want to clean your dishes in a dirty sink? That doesn't, it's kind of like counterproductive. So anyways, I digress. So um, basically encouraging yourself to look at things in a way where you feel good about doing them. You know, like I'm going to do the dishes because my house looks good cleaned once I've done the dishes. And then you go ahead and you do the dishes and then you look around and you say, Wow, this looks really nice. My kitchen looks so clean. It looks so beautiful. And I'm so proud of myself for doing that. Hey, that wasn't that hard. It didn't take that long. So these are the kinds of things that you want to like tell yourself. And by doing that, you're going to rewire your brain to encourage it to like to do the dishes. Have a reason to do the dishes, right? Now you can do this with anything in your life. You can do it with getting up in the morning. You can do it with making your bed. You can get, do it with doing your homework, you know. Um, it, as long as you're encouraging yourself in a positive way to do the right thing, you will keep getting better at it. And it is never impossible to begin this process. It's never... It's never too late to begin the process. And so if you're watching this and this might help you and, and encourage you to do that, then now is a good time to start trying to get your motivation back. I'm sorry you're dealing with that because it is a hard process to deal with motivation, lack of motivation. And you have this inner battle with yourself about getting up and doing things. And would you rather... You know, you're not, nothing's going to change at the end of the day, you know, except for that you'll have things done. So at the end of the day, you've gotten through the day, what was done, 
you know, and you're really going to look down on yourself if there wasn't anything done, which I don't encourage you to do. I encourage you to just look at what you did get done and encourage yourself to be happy about that. This changes your outlook to being positive and you'll enjoy life more. Even if you didn't get much done, you'll at least be happier, right? Your mindset will be cleaner and you will flourish emotionally, if nothing else, which will help you gain more motivation because a lot of lack of motivation comes from anxiety, depression, stress, you know, feeling overwhelmed and things like that. So mental health is going to encourage you to do more for your life in the long run, having good mental health than it would if you had poor mental health. So I encourage you to take the steps today to tell yourself something positive about something you did today and reward yourself. Give yourself a little pat on the back and don't think of all of the discouraging things that might come along with the tasks you have. Don't think about them too much. Just do them. And then take a step back and go, look, I've done the dishes. I'm proud of myself. Look at how clean my kitchen is. Look, I've, I've, I'm trying to be a normal human being. <laughs> and uh, don't worry, guys, I've been in this position and that's why I'm talking to you about it. And I still am in this position sometimes. So there was times when it was hard for me to do the dishes or clean the house. And now that I have... It's taken years, but now that I've rewired my brain to encourage myself to do these things, I usually live in a clean house. And sometimes, and I say usually because sometimes, I still don't. And that's okay. It's okay to get to it later and sometimes just not have time to do those things. It's more important to have a better mental space than it is to get these things done but getting these things done, I will have you know, helps you get into a better mental state. It's this depression and lack of motivation tend to be a vicious cycle of repeating negative thoughts. And so if you can start to kind of use these tips I've given you to encourage yourself to have positive thoughts, you can break that cycle of negative thoughts and you can come out of the depression even if it's just a little bit remember that and remember how you did it and remember how good it felt and know that everyone out there has to push themselves hard and out of their comfort level and everyone's doing it and you can do it too and it's okay if you need a break it's okay to go easy on yourself because you're gonna have to at first you know no one's gonna just jump right into life head first if they haven't been doing it for a while. So I encourage you to take it easy on yourself, but try these tips and if they work, keep doing them and keep trying to see, maybe set some goals, like set yourself a weekly goal and make it to, uh, to just at least sweep and mop or something or just dust, you know, uh, or just clean the bathrooms, you know, just pick something, make it that goal that week. And if you don't accomplish it, Maybe you make it a smaller goal next week, you know, and that's okay. Don't don't be mad at yourself. Don't beat yourself up about it. Don't bully yourself. Just understand that you need to start somewhere a little bit easier. And that's okay because if you go easy on yourself like that, and I've made a video about this. So if you want to check out more videos, uh, they'll describe some of these things about going easy on yourself and how good it is for you. Because so, if you go easy on yourself, in the beginning, then you're going to, you know, if you set smaller goals at first, you're going to be delighted that you've reached your goals that more than you might be disappointed that you haven't. So it's going to encourage that positive thinking and those good endorphins being released for doing hard work and accomplishing goals. So I hope that this helps somebody get through their day. I hope this helps somebody motivate them to do the right things and maybe even more than that, maybe in the next couple of weeks, you'll have a, a full transformation. Maybe not, you know, um, everyone goes at their own pace and I am just hoping to help by spreading the things, the thoughts that are in my mind with you. Uh, if this helps you, please let me know. It helps if you like 
the video. It helps my channel out if you like the video. Uh, if you comment, let me know what you think. I appreciate that as well. And uh, if you share it to help other people, that's wonderful. That's all I'm trying to do is help people uh, and spread. I hope that by spreading the, th the thoughts in my mind to you that I'll help you. Uh, subscribing also helps this channel. And uh, so do any of those number of things or all of them and I will appreciate you. I hope that you appreciate my help today. Um, either way, I hope something's come of this. Uh, thank you for joining me today. I hope your day is as beautiful as you are, and I will see you next time.